Hey there guys, this is Ed, and welcome back to another edition of Big Home Booze. As you can see, we are up out of the basement. We're doing something a little bit different here tonight. We are going to be doing a whiskey sampling, specifically Scotch whiskey. And even more specific, it's going to be from the Glen Livet Distillery. We got three different selections we're going to uh, show up tonight, two of which I've had before, um, and one that's brand new, found down at State Line. You know, said many times before, you know, you find stuff you're not looking for down there. Great place down on the Maryland State, uh, Maryland and Delaware State Line, hence the name. Um, you know, so I wasn't even looking for this, found it, figured why not try it, mix it in with my other Glenn Livets, and voila, episode is born. So, with no further ado, let's get started for our first sampling. I drink and I know things. So, let's see what we got first. We're going to go down and let's pull up what we got here first. So, our first sampling that we got here, it is the Glenn Livet 14 year old um this is specifically their cognac cast selection um with this what it is is it is their whiskey that is matured um in bourbon and sherry cast um and then they finish it out in ex cognac cast um for at least six months um so with this we should get kind of you know some of the, the raisin notes off of the uh the cognac uh, that comes in for that, um, you know, and also get the fruit and sweetness that comes in off of the sherry um, with that. And then obviously we get some of the other flavors that come through off of the bourbon. So let's go ahead. Got my glass here too. So go ahead, give ourselves a nice four. And see what we got here. Nice healthy four because it is a good thing of whiskey. So I guess. The big thing here, obviously, it is, uh, we'll leave that bottle out for now. Um, I guess the big debate is, you know, ice or no ice? Um, you know, there's two huge camps that are divided on that. Um, purists, I guess, will say, you know, aficionados will say no ice because the ice really cools, kills your tongue, uh, so you can't really get the full sampling, you know, and knocks off all that hardness. Uh, that comes in off of some of the whiskeys. Those on the other side, you know, they want ice. You know, they want it in. They want to kind of take the edge off. You know, do what you want. You know, it is what it is. But I guess you know, you want to, those that are really in the know. You know, will you know do no ice. We're gonna do no ice tonight. Um, apparently, I'm not the huge whiskey aficionado because. I'm missing, you know, the nice little snifter and all that stuff. But what we will do, what they kind of say to do, I do have my a little bit of water here. So what is recommended is you take just a little smidge of water and we'll do that. Drop it in to take a little bit of the edge off. So nice little syringe that we got. So just a smidge to shoot in and screw that around a little bit. So let's go to nose test. So do get a nice body off of that. Um, you know, I do get some of that aroma of the, you know, obviously we get kind of the beatness that's there. Um, you know, I do get some of the, the fruit that's there, a little bit of the raisin that comes off. So let's go ahead and we'll give ourselves a little. That is, that's smooth, nice and smooth. Got a little bit of heat on the backside that comes in off of that. So I feel like kind of burning down, going down, not burning, but the warmthness of, you know, going down. Um, so it definitely is a nice smooth uh, finish to it. Uh, doesn't really have that hard edge uh, that you get for some of the whiskeys. Nice full robustness that comes in off of that. You know, nice, good, rich co color that we've got. You know, you do get some of the uh, the fruit that's there. Get some of the, you know, I get some of the kind of toastiness that comes in off of the the barrels. Um, you know, it's a nice solid drink of whiskey. Can't really complain. Um, got just a little slightly little different taste uh, to it. 
So, you know, we we'll recommend that out. You know, we finish that up to finish off the our first class and finish it up and then we'll kinda of move into our next one. So we'll kinda of mix them up and see who's going what and where. I know you're supposed to sit everything, but for the sake of time, you know, we're drinking a little bit more. Again, you're a sip it, savor it, you know, obviously chugging it, you know, <laughs> how much do we will get? So I guess we'll just leave that there and we'll kind of sit back. So we're going to go ahead and we'll pick up what our next whiskey is going to be. Okay, guys, we're back. So we're going to cleanse out the towel a little bit. So we can go ahead and get our next bottle that we got. So let's see what we got down here in the whiskey drawer. Uh, no, I don't have a drawer of whiskey. We got proof. Just a place to store them. So what we got here is not a failure to communicate, but what we have here is a, another one. This is another kind of off one that you're going to get off of this, off of from the Glen Nibbit. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. This one is going to be their Glenlivet Caribbean Reserve. Um, again, this is another barrel finish that we have off of this. Um, this one, where that one was uh, cognac and cherry and bourbon, this one, as you can guess, surprise, surprise, is held in Caribbean rum. Yet another glass, you know, if you want to keep it, you know, separate. Uh, because I still have a little bit in the other one. So we'll go ahead and pop this guy. So this is another one that I've tried before. Um, this one, go ahead. We're going to pour. Here we go. We got that set up. Stack that next to it. Pull ourselves up. Get our little squirty thing. Syringe, I guess. <laughs> um, so let's give a little bit of order in, get that there, get our syringe and order out of the way, roll it up a little bit. So this one definitely there's compared to the to the oh we forgot the scoop thing. Uh the 14 year old. Um this is definitely more of a fruit tone um from the nose that get off on this. Um I don't really get as much of the oakiness uh that it had um and and such for the old one. Tell you right now, I am not a whiskey aficionado, so if I'm not teaching the right terms, don't hold them against me. You know, I'm just a guy here drinking whiskey, giving you my review of it. So you know, let's go ahead and drink it while we're doing it. So with this one, in comparison to the 14 year old, this is a lot smoother um of a whiskey um with this i almost don't get any of that kind of burn you know we'll get a little bit more in here you know you know diluted a little too much a little too quick on the syringe so go ahead just to double check we already got a piece of water that's in there so um you know well, I don't get, you know, it's definitely a very smooth whiskey. You don't get that that uh, kind of mouthfeel um, of kind of the heat sensation that you get with other whiskeys. Uh, you know, so it is a very smooth, um, you know, do get, I guess, you know, banana, I guess, <laughs> if you want to call it, I guess that's what I'm smelling. Um, some other fruit flavors that are in there. Nose ain't that great, so, <laughs> you know, but in any event, this is definitely good. You know, I guess if we would try to rank them right now, one and two, um, I guess we just put them in order. Switch them around, so put that there. And those will be, so our order right now, one and two, uh, for our flavored uh, cast gauge, Whiskeys. I take another swig. And it definitely was definitely a very smooth, uh, easy drinking whiskey. 
pretty much good with anything. Um, neat. I don't even see any need. Obviously, we're doing it neat, not putting it on the rocks. I can't even see any need to chill it, do the rock thing. It's great as it is. You know, I was a 14 year old. Eh, I could argue a little bit. You know, if you're in that camp, you know, you could put a little bit of ice in it, take the edge off. It is what it is. So, but in any event, you know, pretty good. Very good, I should say. Um, you know, so let's see what our last one is. So it's, we'll be right back. Okay. So we're back for our final. Whiskey that we're going to try. Um, got my last word. Go ahead. Cleanse out the palate. So, this is a brand new whiskey that I have not tried before, as you can kind of tell by the bottles. You know, obviously, these guys I have had once or twice, maybe three times. Um, so, you know, you know, these are great whiskeys. You know, so we've got the brand new one. You know, let's go ahead and see what we've got down here. So, what we have here, so as you can see, all brand new, still in the in the freaking box that's here. Um, I'm going to butcher this because uh, my Gaelic is not that great. Um, but this is Glen Livid. This is their Nadura, um, which by right here on the label, you can see that boom. Um, on the label, Nadura is Gaelic for natural, um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so this is like I said, this one's brand new to me. Don't know anything about it. So, you know, just reading off of what we've got here. Um, my glass is a little bit bad. Um, it, it's Nadora, it's natural. So, what they're saying is that it uses the traditional um, 19th century production methods to create um, inventive and original whiskeys. Um, and this one, it is, as we read from the bottle, this is bottled and released in small batches with no chill growth. Filtration, matured and first filled Olorso cherry cast. Um, I butchered that, O-L-O-R-S-O-O. -O -O. Um, take too many O's, O-L-O-R-O-S-O. -O -O. There we go. Um, so these are the Oloroso. Uh, sherry pass, and they come from the Spanish region of Perez, um, spelled J E R E Z. Um, and it sound like it, but you know, again, my Spanish ain't that great, so I think that's how you spell it. So, apologies if I am butchering um, that region's name, but as far as I'm concerned, it's Perez. Um, so, and you know, what they're telling us is that it is coming off of sherry soaked wood. Um, I'm talking too much with everything, but it's coming in off of the sherry soap wood. Um, we're going to get, you know, again, those dried fruit flavors, and we're going to get some spice that comes out of the sherry, um, you know, and it's coming in. Um, so let's see what we got inside of here. So open it up, check a little something on the top. There we go. Standard, you know. Setup of the bottle, no, not too bad of a box. Tasty notes, bright gold, obviously, like everything else. Um, nose, they're telling us it is a medley of dried fruit aromas, raisins, and apricots with gentle notes of cinnamon and licorice. Um, palate is smooth and creamy with a fruitiness of spice, spicy orange marmalade, and hints of rich dark chocolate. Um, you know. We'll see what it is. This was just bottled uh, about a year ago in April 21. Uh, so let's see. Do I need my? Nope, I do not need this whole top off. So I might need my opener. Get rid of that there. There we go. Got one more glass. Got around. Get a glass. Get our water syringe. Get that guy ready. So let's go ahead. We'll crack this guy open and let's give ourselves a pour with that plug. Didn't have any other ones because <laughs> we drank some a little, a lot. So let's go ahead, sit that up there. Go ahead and give us our shot of water. 
world around a little bit. So I definitely get a lot more no's than I did um, off of the Caribbean, almost about the same, not more than the 14 year old. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, this one is kind of in your braid in the nose. Uh, you get her nose in there. Um, yeah, I get, I get some of the fruit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, you don't know what I'm thinking, but uh, we get some of the fruit. Um, that definitely has a lot more. I guess I should probably did that one after the 14, 14 year old. So, um, it definitely has more mouthfeel than the Caribbean. Um, it's got whoo, definitely a lot more burned, um, than I'm used to off of some of that. Um, it definitely, there's a good bit of warmth that comes in off of, off of this. Um, you know, I do get the, the spice, um, you know, a little bit of that, uh, fruitiness, I guess raisins, if raisins really have a flavor, um, maybe it's one of the other fruits. So, but, you know, this guy, I don't know, I probably keep making faces, but. I think I do need a little bit. I might need a little bit of ice. This one, this one, I think I do need some of the ice. Again, like I said, do it neat, do it on the rocks, do whatever floats your boat. You know, it is, you're the one enjoying it. Do what you want. I'm not going to tell you how to drink it. You know, apparently, again, not a whiskey aficionado, not a whiskey expert, uh, not even a beer expert. Um, just a guy sitting here drinking, sharing out my impressions. So, yeah, throwing the ice in definitely takes an edge off. There still is a good bit of heat that comes in off of that. So, it just kind of dulls that initial, you know, kind of hit to the, to the palate that comes in. You know, I guess in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's good. Um, do you like it? I don't know, I guess if I were ranking, I don't know. I guess I would probably keep it in the order that I got, you know, first, second, third. Um, you know, definitely, as we said before, very smooth, not a lot of burn. You know, I guess I'm one of the people that don't want that. You know, I like it a little bit, but not too intense. Um, the 14 year old, it's got a good mouth feel that comes in off of it. A little bit of, you know, that the oakiness, the, the fruit that comes in off of the, the sherry and the cognac and the bourbon, um, you know, the Ndua, you know, I guess because it is different style, it is that, you know, I already forgot, you know, that they're doing, it is the, uh, new chill filtration you know it is trying to do it in that natural uh, original style of distilling so obviously it gives us a slightly different taste and palette off of you know off of the 14 year old they tell you to pair this with spicy chambalaya um i don't know i guess that works um whatever so Pretty good. Um, again, you know, I wouldn't put it, you know, above. It kind of is the right on par with the 14-year-old. You know, it's a mix. You know, it's not bad. I'm not going to kick it out. You know, obviously, I'll continue to drink it, mix it in with everything else that's here. So, hopefully, we gave you a little bit of a taste of some other whiskeys that you wouldn't necessarily uh, have tried. Um, let me cleanse my palate a little bit. Um, still have some 14 year old. 
Outlands. In the Caribbean. Um, God, kind of does in order. You know, definitely goes from the tough down to the to the easy. So, um, yeah, you know, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, maybe you'll go out and grab one of this machine's refill. Um, probably these guys, you know, it is, you know, they're not your standard run of the mill whiskeys, um, you know, but I definitely recommend them. You know, I'm not going to pass down a scotch whiskey. Definitely, as you can see, I have a little bit of a problem uh, with that. So, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, I guess, you know, we'll finish this guy off. And we will be. So. So, with that, finish that all. I'm finished. We're finished, and we will catch you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.